Welcome back to a new episode of Incorto d'Arte. My name is Rita and today I'm going to take you on a journey into the world of totems. But before we get into the video, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and click on the bell button not to miss our next episodes. Totems have a great spiritual power. The word comes from ototeman and indotetam, which in the Native American language of the Ojibwe means of my own clan or this is my clan. Totems could be of a small or large dimension and often show different animals, which are the guide spirits of a clan, family or person. Depending on the culture they are part from, totems can have different uses and meanings. However, the majority represents wisdom, knowledge and the power of nature. The animal parts of the totem can be considered a true helper, a guardian, that shares its characteristics with the clan and the people that they guide. A totem is never owned by a single person, but it is shared with the clan and according to tradition can even change in the course of one's lifetime. These objects, both small and large, have a spiritual, ritual and magical charm. And this is the reason why they have been silent victims and witnesses of the dark history of colonialism. Created to represent indigenous clans, totems were made of finely carved cedarwood and were raised during ceremonies called potlatch, a gift-giving feast practices by the indigenous people of the Pacific Northwest coast of Canada and the United States to establish a leader's wealth and power. However, in the 1880s, these ceremonies were banned by Christian missionaries who considered the practice to be useless. Hmm. Totems were destroyed or removed to become part of collections around Europe. This caused people to forget the spiritual and ritual background of these objects, which only many years later were recognized again. Of course, artists have also had a fascination for totems and have reflected on their meaning and spiritual power in their own way. Let's have a look at three examples. Italian artist Flavio Lucchini explores the relationship between art and fashion. The artist, in fact, experiments with different techniques and materials, creating artworks related to the fashion world, which are also full of pathos and a subtle irony. In his series called White Totem, he has created artworks in which he transforms gowns into enormous sculptures. In these objects, it is not animals that represent someone's characteristics, but what they were. The artist believes that people's appearance changes with their way of thinking and being, and clothes convey this change. This is why they are important. The clothes speak of our past, our present, and what we want to be in the future. We said at the beginning, our totems are strongly related to the power of nature. And it is this connection, the main interest of the Polish artist Alicia Biawa, who with the architect Hivo Borkowitz created the artwork Totem. The totems in this artwork show the scale of the environmental decay that we are living right now. The sculptures have lively colours and remind us of playful shapes. However, the QR codes show lead to a website with information about the biodegradation process happening on Earth. One of these totems, for example, illustrates how every year a forest area comparable to the size of Poland disappears. These totems then take on a function of guiding individuals to safeguard nature. A whole new meaning is part of Karen Oakin's artwork, who works with books. The artist, in fact, highlights how books are experimenting a decline in today's digital world. In her work as an artist, Hawkins decided to transform how books are used in order to give them new meaning. She uses old books, collected from libraries or bought for a dollar in a second-hand shops, 
inserting them in a new context which allows people to engage with books in a different way. The artist created 14 suspended totems in which books act as guide animals. This new function and visual impact become a way to create a link with the viewers, convincing them to return to reading. With these three artists, we have seen different ways of reinterpreting totems and their meanings. Why don't we try to create our small totem to guide our choices? You will need modeling clay, paint, a black marker, paper and pencil, something to protect your table. On a piece of paper, note down a few elements that can represent yourself. You can choose your favorite color, animal and object. Now sketch these elements and think about their shape, color and how they can be stuck one over each other. Once you're happy with the design, you can start modeling your totem using the clay. Shape one element at a time as you can join them together when finished. However, make sure to create a nice space for the other element to sit on top of it. You can create your elements in different ways. They can be three-dimensional or three-dimensional, small or large. Let your pieces dry until they are and can be moved easily. At this point, you can paint them with the color of your choice and let it dry. Once the paint is dry, you can add some details using the black marker. Now you can stack them one on top of the other to create your totem. This is my totem. As you can see, I created a bi-dimensional totem that I will hang on my studio's wall. I've added a sunflower, which is my favorite flower and also shows my favorite color, a bumblebee as my guide animal, and finally, added some paint brushes to represent my love for art. This is everything for today. I hope you enjoyed this journey into the world of totems. I will see you again in two weeks time for another episode and journey into arts. Until then, bye.